The steamship Anhui arrives in Singapore carrying some 400 British subjects who have been advised to leave Japan. Immigration authorities make a close examination of passports. Just now, the Japanese have to make up their mind whether theirs is the land of the rising or setting sun. Recruited in Malaya, RAF trainees who have completed their initial training are passing out to participate in the Empire Air Training Scheme under which they'll complete their full training in Canada. The governor of Malaya, Sir Shenton Thomas, makes an inspection of the lads on graduation day. A large share of the defense of Malaya is in the hands of British and Australian airmen. In their American-built Brewster Buffalo fighter planes, they patrol the dense jungle areas, taking off from secret aerodromes hacked out of the thick forests and worst swampland in the world. In this same dark, steaming tropical jungle, men of both the British and Imperial forces go through an intensive OC2 training course to fulfill the need for officers of the Malayan Defence Force. Using collapsible boats, they perfect themselves in the methods of jungle warfare. This sort of thing was once the sport of big game hunters. Now it's the training of an army of fighting bushmen. The jungle holds many a secret to counter any move directed against Singapore or Australia. In a young rubber plantation, these now seasoned soldiers demonstrate their ability to fight under extremely difficult conditions. These, by the way, are Australian pressmen in search of a story. But just now it looks as if the late final extra is not going to press. Mm -hmm. 